Hey, J Birds, we have the merchandise available now. The hoodies, the female shirts we have available. We have the male shirts available too. And then we also have, bam, the mugs, right, for everybody. So hit the description box below. Peace. Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jaylee. This is Jaylee's Corner, and this is a car conversation on Jaylee's Corner. Okay, it is a gloomy rainy ass day here today i'm just not in the mood baby um i want to go home we'll go back home so on my way to work and get back in the bed but i gotta go to work anyway if you have not done so already please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and become a jaybird hey jaybirds um so you see the title i watched maddie's show yesterday and um for, you know for queen supreme court and i think i, I watched because i catch it when i came up with that review stuff myself on mondays and i think people was in the comment sections i saw comments somewhere i don't remember where and it was like yeah you know she was such a good co-host and she was real real it was tiffany fox who was on there um who i didn't know was like in the music industry too because i never know what some of these people be because i don't pay attention all the times um, so I did watch the show. I feel like Maddie's audience sometimes be bullshit. I feel like sometimes they don't be giving energy. I hate when you have like a part, a, a point of being in the audience is to feed off the judge, like the you know the, the host or whatever. And sometimes I feel like yesterday it was a bougie ass, uh, you know, audience. I'm like they wasn't really saying nothing. And I feel like sometimes you know that's how the show becomes great because like if they laugh and stuff or if they say something or they throw things out it makes Maddie and whoever else on there you know react and stuff and the audience was so quiet for so I mean and it was a, like they were doing good and I was like why y'all ain't saying shit like y'all y'all deaf mutes what's going on here um but again it was a cool show um the Tiffany Fox girl you know I, I'm torn I think she did good she didn't do bad but it was still something different that I can't put my finger on. I'm not sure. I like some things she said. I like how, you know, her and Maddie both have, had different opinions on certain things. I thought it was funny that Tiffany was a, you know, a little Kim stan. And, you know, of course, you know, Maddie is a Nikki stan. So that part was kind of funny. Even I like the part where Tiffany asked Maddie, you know, can you name one time where Nikki Minaj has tried to help someone or, you know, bring up someone on her same level to be in her same level and she never has collaborated with anybody and people kept saying well she collaborated with foxy brown yeah but foxy brown was washed up by the time she did it and then i'm like it's true she has never done that so there was funny seeing her ask maddie that question specifically and maddie couldn't answer so i was kind of laughing at that but it was still a fun show a lot of great topics um i like how they brought up you know, being a hater versus kind of having an opinion and how Tiffany said, well, you know, every time somebody, why well, I got to be hating? It was the whole Cat Williams, Kevin Hart, Tiffany had thing. And I like how it makes it like it's a difference between, you know, being a hater and just like, you know, your opinion is stupid, basically. Well, not, not stupid, but it's like sometimes telling someone, you know, you are being a hater does not mean they can't have an opinion. It's a difference between having an opinion and then make, making something fact um, like it's true. So I do think, you know, people have to realize Cat Williams was a bit of a hater, okay? Because he was talking about something that had nothing to do with him and he came off bashing somebody else. So that's what, what a hater is. It's like when they don't have nothing to do with you and you're supposed to be there talking about your own shit and you get off and do a whole little rant about whoever else. Even though what he said about Tiffany and other people was only like a couple of minutes a couple of minutes long, it was still, you know, remnant of being a whole hater. So I like that whole thing, you know, the difference. Um stories they brought up was kind of cool you know it was a good show i was and i don't have much on it i just want to say it was a good show um but i was mad at the audience i was the most upset at the audience um it was a little over an hour it wasn't as long as some of her other shows is you know sometimes 
our content depends on what's going on in the news and what stories are going on. So, like, if it's nothing going on in the news, we don't have to talk about like me today. I ain't gonna talk about so I talk about Maddie. Uh, well, not Maddie, but about the show. So, um, I do, I do, I do wish she picked a final judge and not even a final judge, but just had like maybe a rotation of people because I feel like sometimes every, every episode has different energy. And so we never know what we're going to get as, as, you know, as Maddie Mob people. And so I be wishing like, well, dang, can't she just like, you know, get like five people and rotate the five. But get five good people. You know what I'm saying? Get five good people and rotate them fast to see who can all be there. Um, so that way, it's just, you can kind of get used to the show. I feel like with a new co-host, a new judge every Monday, you know, we we can't get used to nothing. So, like, there's no there's no flow that we're used to because we never know how the guest judge is going to react. So, um, we don't know how much longer she's going to have, you know, um, guest judges. That may be what she does for the forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Um, that could be what it is. So, that's all I got to give y'all. You know what I'm saying? I don't have much um, on the situation because, again, it was a short show, great topics. Again, I still feel like Tiffany, it was something about her that I don't, not something that I didn't like. I don't know. I don't know. Because she was talkative. You know, she had opinions. Her and Maddie played well off of each other. But, I, okay, I, I know what it is. I feel like she was a good co-host to pop in. Okay, that's a hot pause. Um, she was a good co-host to pop in and do a little, you know what I'm saying, a little guest thing. I wouldn't want her on her permanently. I guess it's what, I, it's what I'm feeling in my spirit. Fuck ass, Mac truck. You just all wet up my windows. Go around your ass. Anyway, so sorry about that. Um, yes, I, I think that's what it was. Like, she was cool with him to pop up here and say, Hey, I'm here today. But I was like, I don't know. Because then she got into the whole Nicki Minaj situation and she brought up how Nicki Minaj has, you know, stopped her from doing stuff. And Nicki Minaj stopped her from doing this or that. And so, how she has a personal situation too with Nicki Minaj about Nicki not being supportive of other rappers and rap, rap, female rappers and stuff like that. And how she, you know, because she said she understood how. Cardi was probably just frustrated with the bullshit that Nikki does um, and the bullshit that Nikki pulls, and that's why she did all the shoot throwing situation. Um, and that's how she got, got got into how she personally know how Nikki would do shit behind the scenes, and you know what I'm saying throw, throw the rock and had her hand like as if she didn't do anything. So, so I can kind of get someone being frustrated seeing that person in, seeing that person in person and then reacting. I can check out really see. You see my blinker, bitch. You keep going if you want to. Go ahead, my car. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, yeah. So, that part was kind of like, oh, okay. So, it was also a thing of, you know, even when they had the one must go, and Maddie messed herself, go have uh, Lil' Kim, Nicki Minaj, uh, Remy Ma, and uh, Foxy Brown. Now, you know, I, at first, I'm like, why would they have, you know, Cardi B? But I keep forgetting, Cardi B is still new. Even though Cardi B is popular right now, she's still brand spanking new. And so the four people she had are veterans in the game one way or the other. And, you know, of course, well, not of course, but Maddie picked Remy to go. I'm surprised I picked Foxy to go simply because even though Foxy Brown was around back in the day, I can't think of any Foxy Brown song that's my shit. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's a way for me to tell who would I want to go when I see these names. If I can't think of a song that I'm like, oh my God, I can't do it. I can't, you know what I'm saying? If I can't think of nothing that like I remember, remember from you, I'm like, okay, you can go. You know, for... Lil' Kim, we have, you know, countless, countless, countless songs. You know what I'm saying? Um, even for Nicki. Nicki has a lot of hits that I've liked before. Um, even for Remy. Conce- I love Conceited. Like when they say Remy, I'm like, I love Conceited. I love whatever, whatever. And then I got the Fox. I'm like, damn, what song the Foxy sing? Like, what song the Foxy rap? I can't remember. Even though I'm pretty sure someone said, remember this song? I said, oh, yeah, I remember that. But it's not memorable enough for me to say, you know what I'm saying, she should stay over other people who I, you know what I'm saying, I can remember shit about. So, you know, yeah, it was what it was. Um, But, yeah, it was a cool show. Of course, I tune in when I can, and I usually just can't catch it on Mondays. So, I, I watched a little, a little bit of it last night. I watched a little bit of it today, and then that was it. But I'm going to let y'all go, because I'm still driving to get to work, and who knows what's popping pop in my head within the next 10 minutes. So, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Do not forget to subscribe. Peace. It's like love, 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 and music.